Namaste and welcome. Hope you're doing well. Today's session is going to be about breath inspired movements. How or in what way do we use our breathing to help us move through the different asanas? So we'll start out with um, standing postures, the basic movement again of opening up the front and the sides of the chest. And then we move slowly into a half sun salutation and then we move into a couple of rounds of um, the regular classical style sun salutation and we'll end with uh, a gentle or simple uh, breathing awareness meditation using the heart mudra which is called Ridre mudra and all you'll need is maybe two blocks um, and if you need anything else to support you in your practice, please bring that as well. So let's start out standing for a change. Uh, bring the feet slightly closer. We'll use the block as well to engage the inner thighs. I know that's why I'm wearing something nice and different than just normal yoga clothing. You'll engage the inner thighs and sort of move forward and backwards. Notice if you're bearing too much weight onto the toes or on the heels and then notice if you're again putting more weight onto the outside or the inside of your feet. So you want to find that the four corners and Use the four corners as your foundation for Tarasana. As you breathe in, notice how you can raise that energy from the toes, so bringing the earth energy into the body, lifting it up through the knees, the thighs. Then notice the pelvic area. Am I tipping forward? So my, I'm creating a deep arch in my lower back or am I tipping inward, rounding into my lower back? You want to find the center. So if I showed you to the side, tipping forward, you can see this deep curve that I've created, and gentle tuck. You can see that deep roundness that I've created. So find the center, the middle. And again, as you bring that breath further up, notice how the spine begins to elongate. So you're creating space between the vertebrae. And then pay attention to the shoulders. Are the shoulders hiked up? If they are, then gently bring them down. Keeping the back of the neck nice and long. Gentle tuck of the chin. So it's a very gentle tuck. In other words, I'm not looking down. I'm looking up, but pressing my chin slightly back. So wherever your gaze goes, if I'm looking down, then my head will tend to look down and the energy will move downwards. If I'm looking in front, then again, you'll notice how the head position changes and the energy or the gaze is forward, so your energy is uplifted. And then if you want, you can gently close the eyes so you can sort of turn inward to bring more focus to the breathing. So for now, the breath is simple in nature. So we're not stressing either the in or the out breath. We're not tightening on the pause of the in or the out breath. Rooting downwards towards the ground, the soil, the earth. And as you breathe in, remember you're drawing the energy up. You're drawing what you need to support you. Stay 
stay here for a few more breaths. Again, notice the various thoughts that float through the mind. It may be all over the place and that's natural. So simply acknowledge those thoughts, the monkey mind. And then from here, you bring the palms together. So you want to press the heel of the palms towards each other and the fingertips towards each other. So it's a gentle, relaxed pressing of the two palms. So you're joining the right and the left hemisphere of the brain, the right and the left side of the body. Unity, union. And then from here, you inhale, open up the palms, take them out to the sides. Take the gaze up with you, bring the palms together to touch in the Namaste or Anjali Mudra. Taking that gaze up, lifting the shoulders nice and high. Exhale, open the palms, bring the arms back down into prayer position in front of the heart. Inhale, keep those movements nice and slow as the same length as your inhale and the same length as your exhale. Gentle reminder that we're opening up the front of the chest, the front of the body. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Keep the movement steady, slow, almost meditative in process. So you're aware of how the arms move, the length of the breath, the synchronization, synchronization between the two. Three more breaths. Feel how the body is when you breathe in. Notice a pause, that exchange before the exchange of the exhale. Last round. Bringing the palms back to the center, gently pressing the heel and the tiptoe and the tiptoes and the fingertips towards each other. Shoulders relaxed. And then releasing the hand as you bring the right hand towards the right hip. Inhale, lift the left arm up. And then exhale, gently bend towards the right. Inhale, coming back to the center. Exhale, open the palm as you bring the arm back down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Go for four more rounds. Inhale, take the arm up. Notice how you are in that pause. Before you make that exchange to the exhale, notice how the body bends easily on the exhale. Pause. Inhale, lifting the body. Exhale. The idea is to pause in the rest or between or before the exchange of the in and the out breath. Last round. And 
and it's in release. Changing sides, keeping the palm open. So you're externally rotating the arm. Inhale, take the arm up. Exhale. Inhale, coming back to the center. Exhale. It's a nice way to encourage or to bring attention or to invite awareness into how we move with the breath, how the body moves with the breath. And what happens when we pause, either on the in or the out breath? Four more rounds, inhale. Try to keep both the in and the out breath similar in length, so you, there's no need to rush through the movements. Each time going a little deeper into your side bend, opening up the sides of the body. Last round. Lift the shoulders, roll them down, adding a little more movement into the joints and then opposite way. This time we use both and I'm going to face you. You're going to use both the arms and the block. Adding a little extra into our movement here. This time we'll press the block uh, the hands into the block. Again, using the breath, inhale. And exhale. So as I'm moving my arm up, I'm engaging through the upper arms. I'm still pressing my hands into the block. And you'll notice how the movement is not as fluid as we had earlier. So press, inhale, all the way up, and exhale. Three more rounds. Last round. And release. And you'll notice already that there's, you can feel the arms working. You'll notice how the breath is even more broader when you breathe in. In fact, you can take that length a little more. This time we're going to lift the arms up and then we bend to the right. So inhale, take the arms up. Exhale. Three rounds here. Inhale through the nose. Last round. And exhale, release. A couple of rolls of the shoulders, and then we move on to the other side. I like to do these 
well, I should say I like to change my practice whenever I can. I never do the same sequence um, over and over. So let's begin four rounds on the left side. Inhale. It's nice to change our practice. In a way, it's um, a gentle reminder for the body that there are other ways of working it. And when we change the practice, our perspective also changes. We learn something new every time about our breath, about the body, about the movement. Last round. And then you'll release both the blocks and bring it to one side. The other nice thing about changing your practice is that besides learning something new about it, it also allows us to adapt or I would say, um, try to find the right word. Besides showing us a different perspective, that instant okay i'm going to do this the movements of repetition constantly of the same movements become so ingrained in us that we forget or we um, overlook the subtlety of the movement and that's why i like to change my practice so then i can i can go a little deeper into the subtle layer of the movement Notice those subtle differences, the subtle movements and how my breath affects that. And that's one thing, or that's why I encourage different uh, flows, different practice, or so maybe one day vinyasa, another day yin, or something different. Just like our emotions and our thought process and our belief systems are layered and nuanced, our movement, our breathing is the same thing as well. So now we move into... Um, the half sun salutations. So you'll start off with the block. If you need the block to rest your hands. I sometimes don't, but sometimes I do. And whatever I feel on that day is what I will do. So I would love, encourage you to respect your own movement, your own body, and how you move into an asana. So bringing the palms together, now remember, it's gentle pressing of the fingertips and the heels of the palm together. You want to keep the shoulders relaxed, so it's not lifting the elbows and engaging or tightening here. It's really, it's a simple, relaxed position. On your next inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, turn the palms down, soft bed in the knees as you bring the chest to the thighs, either resting the hands onto the block or onto the floor. Choice is yours. And then on your next inhale, you'll take the arms out to the side, palms face the floor, or you can turn them up and draw the navel in here to protect the lower back. Inhale, lifting through the spine, and exhale. So again, keep the movement really slow so you're aware of what muscle you're engaging and how you're moving with the breath. Three rounds here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
you'll notice at what point do you make that switch between the in, the out, and close. Two more rounds. Inhale. Keeping the breath fluid so you're not stressing or forcing any inhale, any exhale, or tightening in the pause in that kumbhaka. Inhale. You want to feel light as a feather as you move through your posture. And that's really a subtle, a, a, takes the practice to another level. When you begin to see those subtle nuances in your practice, it encourages you to see the same in your thoughts, in your emotions. And close. Staying here, noticing the breath. Ask yourself, are you huffing and puffing in the breath or is it steady? And now this time you take it into a sun salutation, starting on the right side. Inhale. Exhale. And we do a simple version. You'll step back with the right knee. Inhale. Exhale. Into tabletop. And then from here, inhale into your cow or cat. Exhale, round. Back into a neutral position and stepping forward with the right leg. Inhale, lifting. Exhale. Tap that left toe and step it forward. Inhale. And close. Inhaling, moving on to the left side. In breath. Out breath. Into your tabletop. Inhaling here into your cat or cow whatever you use the word for. Exhale. Inhale back to a neutral position. This is where you pause. And then step forward with the left leg. Inhaling. Exhaling. Step forward with your right leg. Inhale. And exhale. Notice the breathing here. You've added more movements. You want to make sure that the breath is still steady, still supporting your body. Now this time we'll add another variation to our sun salutation. Inhaling. Exhaling. Right leg steps all the way back into that lunge, Anjanasana. Inhale. Now the hips to lower towards the ground. Now you pause here. In your pausing, notice where you're rooting, what's lifting. Notice the breath. 
Your breath is what's supporting the body, the mind. Exhale. Tuck the back toes. This time you're going to step back into your downward dog. Holding it here. And now you'll step forward with the right leg as you bring the left knee down. Inhale, lifting through the sides. Gentle pressure of the palms towards each other. Grounding from the hip down, lifting from the waist up. Breathing, keeping the breath steady. Exhale, bring the hands down. Step forward. Inhale. And close. This time we'll start on the left side. And the key in moving slowly is so that you can still maintain that warmth. You can still feel the heart rate go up, but your breath, you're not out of breath. You're not grabbing for the breath to come through. And your movements are really soft, clear. Inhaling. Out breath. Left leg back. When we rush through our movements, again, we rush through the breath. We don't really connect with different areas within our body as to what is holding, what is grounding, what is relaxing. And these are your layers that we want to focus on. So now we step back into downward dog. And then left leg forward. Inhale. Keeping the movement graceful, light. When we tighten or tense our body movements, it actually brings a very different reaction in our emotional state and mental state. I'm actually smiling through all of this. And then exhale, stepping forward, inhale, and exhale. And then slowly we'll come down to the floor. Now you can do any of those sequences any amount of time but I would encourage you to bring, to slow down the movements again, to connect with the subtlety, with the, the simplicity of the practice. So now we end the session with um, a small, gentle, simple meditation. And we're going to use the mudra for the heart. It is a nice mudra to use when you feel like you have pent up emotions and you want to release them. It's great, uh, great to release stress and it supports the heart system and it connects to the fourth chakra, which is the Anahata chakra. The way it will work is that you will curl the index finger and then the second, the third and the ring finger will connect towards the tip of the thumb while you extend the pinky finger and the little finger. So curl the index or the pointer finger in towards the thumb 
so it sits at the base of the thumb. The middle and the ring finger connects to the tip of the thumb and your uh, little finger is out straight and then rest that onto the knees. This is called the Hidaya Mudra. And then if you'd like, you can sit on a block, on a bolster, on a chair. Gentle closing of the eyes or taking the gaze downward, but keep the gaze soft. Jaw relaxed, so let the tip of the tongue rest on the roof of the mouth. Then reconnect with the breath and the heart. And as you breathe in, notice how the chest where the heart sits expands. Keeping the breath nice and steady. Neither rushing through your inner or out breath. Inhaling to expand, to create space. And exhale, releasing. And stay here for three more rounds of the breath. gently release the fingers, move them, bring the palms together in namaste or prayer. And we close the session with a cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Hari Om Namaste. Thank you.